Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here. Welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here and I am glad to be here. Yes, this is a spoon I'm holding in my hand. And I've got a spoonful for you. Have you ever done something, said something, created something that worked so well that you forgot all about it? Okay. Yes, I have. You have, right? Well, a spoon experience Turn the Spoon experience is one that I shared over eight years ago on Meaningful Monday. Spontaneously, serendipitously, or somehow I found it, I discovered it while I was eating breakfast. When I looked at myself and my spoon, I was upside down. When I turned it around, I was right side up. And I said, oh my gosh, there's a Meaningful Monday there. All you got to do is turn the spoon. When things are going bad, when you're not seeing things through the right eyes, turn the spoon. Look at them a little differently. Well, then my good friend and colleague, Mark, who has been the CEO of a major for some 20 plus years, major distributor, largest distributor in their category in the United States, a, an amazing entrepreneur, great leader in his home and in his business, has been using a spoon to encourage people to turn the spoon and look for the best in things. They don't have to always see the worst. And, you know, the stories that I've heard from everybody, from somebody that's working in the home, a housewife, business owners, children. This is a tool that's in your, in your kitchen drawer. Sit down with your kids and talk to them about turning the spoon. Look for examples of where people have come in and turned the spoon in your own family. When they were going this direction and everything seemed to be overwhelming and they saw something new, they turned the spoon. And help them when, they, help them when the news comes in or they hear different ideas. Ask them, how could we turn the spoon on this? How could we turn the spoon on this? We don't have to be grateful for what happened or for what happened, but what can we be grateful in? That's the number one mover, number one criteria is to look at it through the eyes of what can we be grateful in? The second thing is, is look for ways, look for the power of small acts. Smile as a small act. Helping somebody do something is a small act. Reaching out of your comfort zone to help somebody is a small act. Saying thank you with sincerity is a small act. We need more of that today. That's leadership at its best. And then reframe your language. Don't be going, oh, this is horrible. This is terrible. Listen, reframe it in the, either in the form of a question. What can we do to make this even better? What can we do to improve this? How can I reframe this in a way that this is an opportunity instead of an obstacle? We can do that by asking the right question. Look for stories of resilience. They're all around us where people have overcome obstacles, where the obstacle has become the spoon, the turn, the spoon that made a difference. Um, Kenneth, Kenneth, what was it? Kenneth Rooks, steeplechase runner in the last Olympics, okay, needed to win the race to qualify to get into the Olympics. And he's racing with the very best in the United States. And he starts out and he falls, falls flat on his face. And you know, how long does it take the pack to get ahead of you? Well, they're a half a lap away. Well, something happened in that moment where he turned the spoon and he went deep. And instead of looking at, woe is me, oh, I fail, I'm not going to make it. He looked at me and says, no, I can be stronger. I can be better. I've got it inside me to make it happen. And off he went. And you know what? He won. He came in first place and then he won a silver medal at the Olympics. He turned the spoon. We can all find stories of resilience, small little ones in our family, in our business around us, if we're looking and we develop a language of turn the spoon. If I share this with my children, if you share this with your children, you now have a language that unites your family together. Because if you say share the spoon, that means look at it differently, find the good in it. So that's all you have to say. And when you have language in your family or in your business that's unique, it builds levels of intimacy. So there's so many benefits that come from this kitchen tool that you can get right out of your drawer and use it to strengthen your family, strengthen your business, and strengthen this muscle up here so you start to see the great things that are around us and you will make greater impact. Let's make this a turn the spoon, spoon, turn the spoon week, shall we? It's going to be a great week. Make life meaningful. Turn the spoon. We'll talk next week. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here, by the way. Bye-bye.